G'day football fans and welcome back to episode 11 of our West Ham career mode here on Dylan on the Ball. Today it is the final day of our first season in charge. The first season at the helm for Emmanuel Alguacil. We have got the Conference League final. It is madness to think we've actually got here this quickly as well, which feels a bit nutty. Um, there are a few games to catch you up on. Before we get to those though, firstly, I'll just remind you guys to please subscribe down below, like the video, comment what you think of it, comment what you think we should do for next season. If there's any, you know, burning transfers you'd really love to see for West Ham, maybe there's a player that you've been wanting to go to West Ham for years now and you just really want to see it in this series. Let me know. Secondly, we're actually going to look at the way that players have developed this year. Just very, very quickly, very briefly, we're going to scan through the team, see the growth that they've had, and uh, that might also point us in the direction of what we may need next season. I'm not too sure. Starting from goalkeeper, Areola has gone up to 82 overall. He went to 82 overall fairly early in the season. Didn't really, hasn't really progressed too much, but I don't think you'd really expect him to do too much growing at this age. Kelleher has gone up overall despite I don't think he's actually played yet so uh, I mean it's great to see that he's going up I guess. Emerson 28 gone up to 78 overall that's probably his peak. Mitchell Backer also up to 78 overall they are now equal only 22 Mitchell Backer he does look quite good especially physically which is all you could want from him really. We will have Maswaku coming back from loan but I mean uh, I'm pretty happy with Backer and Emerson really. As for centre backs Zuma has gone up to 82, Agard has gone all the way up to 83 at the age of 27, Ogbonna is down to 76 and he is actually on his way out, I can't remember who he's joined but he's, he's off somewhere, I can't remember, I don't want him though. Kura gone up to 78, 2 overall growth, Dawson has stayed at 78 overall but I'm thinking he's one to replace next year to be completely honest. As you see with Ogbonna, it's going to start going downhill quickly. So maybe while we've got, you know, I think we've got a year left on his contract, like like all of next season left on his contract. So maybe we use, like maybe we look to sell him and, and bring someone else in. One area I was thinking was maybe we look at the teams who are getting relegated. I'm not sure. Next, Sufal, he's still quite good. He's absolutely loved by the West Ham fans. He's, again, like one that I was sort of looking at, it, maybe we'll pr uh, end up cashing in on him you know he probably doesn't have too long left on his contract um, and and rather than extend that we might look to cash in on him and get someone who's you know going to be at the club for a bit more of a long term or in as more of a long term solution. Ben Johnson doing very well gone f up four overall Declan Rice up two overall Suchek also up two overall to 83 Douglas Weiss has gone up three he's 81 Flynn Downs you see is also growing Servi up to 79 Great name, Okaflex. Um, Vlasic will be coming back next year. He's gone up to overall. I don't think we really have a spot for him, which is the only issue. Um, although with that stamina, I suppose I may not be wanting to have a spot for him anyway. Um, so I think we'll just use him to, to bolster the transfer budget, really. Ramsey, he's gone up four overall to 79. So he's just about up there with four nails now. And as I was saying in the last video, I really am getting to the point where I'm like, maybe we just unleash him, put him at the center attacking mid spot, like in rotation with Paqueta, and we bring in a defensive mid. I'm not too sure. You guys, you guys let me know what you think of that. If you think we should cash in on four nails and get another defensive mid so that Ramsey can be freed up to go forward. Let, yeah, just let me know. Paqueta has been brilliant. He's up to 84 overall. Absolutely incredible. Looking fantastic all across the board. Palmer, he's only gone up to one overall, but he's only had half a season here and he's been playing off the bench. Fornells, he's up to 81 overall. He's 27. Good stamina. He's a, he clearly is a good player. I get that. But I just, you just with the... the like you think that his ceiling is a lot lower than Jacob Ramsey's ceiling. Like as good as four nails can possibly get is probably about 81. Whereas Ramsey, you know, if he's already grown four overall this season, you can probably see him going to, you know, 83, 84, 85 maybe. Next, Platter. He's gone up just the four overall. I was going to say seven for whatever reason. He's gone up four overall. He's been pretty damn good on that right hand side. Lihaji, he's gone up the one overall. Bowen up three overall. Though he... Like I feel I've felt underwhelmed by him, but maybe that's maybe I'm just being hypercritical. I don't know. Corne up three overall as well. Mikhail Antonio down two, and he is one that we will look to sell. Gianlucas Gamaga, he's gone up four overall. He's up to 84, which is pretty brilliant. Other than that, just some loanies that we're probably not going to do much with when they come back. Anyway, that's a bit of a wrap up. You've seen all the growth. You've seen all the 
people that we may get rid of like Antonio I think on the chopping block really it's Antonio and Dawson are the certainties and then the like questionable is like Sufal, Fornals, Vlasic is, is I think Vlasic is probably on the chopping block as well actually but anyway that's enough about that let's get through to some highlights there's been four games since you were last here all four in the Premier League starting with a trip away to Leicester Getting the scoring underway against Leicester, it was that man again, he keeps popping up doesn't he? It's Mikhail Antonio, Bowen is set free on the right hand side, pops a nice little quick ball across, the defenders can't get back there and Antonio finishes beautifully into the bottom corner, giving the keeper no chance. We then make it 2-0 with possibly the one of the best goals that we've scored this season, which I mean, we haven't scored too many spectacular ones, but this is definitely one of them. Up there with the Declan Rice, the uh, Skamaka pre-kick, I don't know, but it's Franco Servi curling one top corner, giving us a 2-0 lead, and the three points. Next up, it was Leeds we hosted, and in a weird role reversal, it's Kurt Zuma taking the free kick long, like long into the box, and it's Pablo Fornells who actually gets us all three points here. It's a 1-0 lead, a 1-0 win rather, a beautiful curling header over the keeper out of his reach. What more could you ask for? The second last match of the Premier League season, I should say, I was just going to say season, was hosting Bournemouth where Gianluca Scamacca in the 84th minute gives us the lead here, a good little finish into the bottom corner, gives us a 1-0 win, back-to-back 1-0 wins. You love to see it. Then lastly, it was off to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium where Jacob Ramsey did very, very well. Played a little one-two there with Mikhail Antonio. Got himself down to the byline, cut it across, and Pablo Fornells absolutely threads the needle here with the finish to give us all three points. Beautiful. Here then is confirmation of how the league table has finished up after all 38 games, after those four wins in a row with four clean sheets, which is pretty, pretty immaculate. Relegated is Leeds United, Brentford and Southampton. I only point that out because maybe those are the teams we look to pillage. Looking at Leeds United, I'm thinking Pascal Strauch perhaps to replace Craig Dawson. Brentford, Ivan Tony to come in and replace Mikhail Antonio. And if it's Southampton, mm, it's a tough one, but maybe Livermento Liv to replace Soufal if if that ends up happening, I guess. But I guess them having been relegated, Southampton being relegated po very poorly, just about as bad as that Derby side. I mean, Derby won, Derby at like 10 points or eight points or something, I don't remember. But those three sides being relegated, I guess it does sort of open the door to pillaging, basically. As for the rest of the table, I mean, it's nothing too highly controversial, I guess, except seeing Nottingham Forest that high and Brighton that low. I mean, that about it. In seventh is Arsenal, sixth is Spurs, and we're six points ahead of Spurs in fifth, four points behind Chelsea. So we didn't quite make the Champions League spots. Just the four points short, just too many losses at the end of the day, I guess is the story. Manchester City ended up taking out the title. They have pipped Liverpool and Manchester United to the post by six points. Very, very weird to see them actually clear of it by the end, like by the final day you know it, it doesn't really feel like a Manchester City win without there being some sort of drama anyway that's enough about the Premier League today is all about the Conference League where as you see we are in the final the day before my birthday to face RZ let's head to the lineups so for our West Ham United side we are going basically all guns blazing the only thing I guess you could say is our wide back positions maybe you'd look at changing we've got Areola in goals Backline of Ben Johnson on the right, Zuma and Agard in the middle, and Backer on the left. Holding midfield is between Suchek and Rice. Attacking midfield is Bowen on the right, Corne on the left, and Paqueta at the number 10. And number 9, the big man, the leading goal scorer of the club, is Gianluca Scamacca. I guess I probably should have looked at the golden boot race, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. We'll do that later. Maybe. We'll do that after the game if I remember. Anyway, for RZ, it's not a lineup I have too much familiar familiarity with. I guess the only people I really am that familiar with would be Van Hudes Houston. Van H I can't say it. Van Houston at the back, and then I'm um, assuming that's Jordi Classy and uh, Richard Lee Bazaar. Other than that, I'm not going to say I know an awful lot about the team. It's Jensen in goals, Sugawara at right back, Van Hudson and Bakima. Bakima? Looks like it reminds me of leukemia. Anyway, and do it at left back. I shouldn't say that. Pepe Lou is the holding midfielder. The two centimeters ahead of him are Classy and Bazaar. 
right wing Odegaard, 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 I don't know, Odegaard, Carlson on the left and Pavelides up front. I think, I mean, I've said this for a few weeks in a row now, but I think we're the best team left. I think we are clearly the better side here. We are not a Conference League side. We should be comfortably winning this. Let's find out, I guess. So here we go then. We are at, I think it was called Sanderson Park. I can't remember. I don't think it's real. It is a beautiful sea of claret and blue versus red and black. Red and black? Far out. Red and white. Just awful. Anyway, Guys, I'll just remind you again to please leave us a like down below, subscribe if you are new around here, if you want to stick around for Season 2, comment down below what you thought of the video, who we should get from the relegated sides, all that sort of stuff. Social medias are also down in the description below, I am absolutely just raring to go. Let's get into it. Alrighty, kick off here. I do like this jersey that we're in, I was just looking at it, I was like, mm, is it a good omen that we're in our, like, is that even our, is that our third kit or our second, our away kit? I don't know, I didn't, I haven't even paid attention. Johnson early, getting up there, but Cross is easily deflected away. Paqueta now, edge of the box, with a finesse, or oh, bottom corner he was looking for. Keeper Jensen gets down well and holds onto it. I was going to say, I think I like our black kit more though, to be fair, and really, would it not have, you know, separated any potential clashes even more? I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. Anyway, good chance here early for RZ. They are up in the box. I don't know why that guy's let go of the ball. M. DeWitt. I was going to say it was Danny DeWitt, but I think that was an Ajax central midfielder, not a... Ooh, not a left back. They nearly got through there. I think it was Zuma mopping up. And now Bowen plays Rice, and Rice is leading the counter-attack here for some reason. Skamaka holds it up well, puts Rice in, Rice across, Corne, goal. It's beautiful, it's 1-0, it is a sweeping counter-attack led by Captain Declan Rice, the absolute superstar. What a player, what an absolute player. He has just taken that ball, he has like seen that we've won the ball and he's gone, you know what, I'm going to make us score a goal here. Good bit of hold-up play from Skamaka, keeps the defender at bay, waits for Declan Rice to overlap him or run past him, puts it on a plate for Corne with his weak foot into the empty net, 1-0, and you won't see any more of those uh, cutbacks or a pass across goal for a tap-in. Oh, that settles any nerves. I was getting a little bit concerned with how well they were attacking, because, I mean, if you've watched the last two videos, we haven't really had much of that, so... I was worried I wouldn't know how to defend it when it came, but I mean, getting that goal is very, very important. We can look for another one here. I definitely tried to cross that and it just didn't work. I don't know if it showed my power, like the power bar down the bottom going up for the cross. Anyway, RZ have definitely looked to have more of the ball early here. Oh, I tried to just release Skamaka there straight away. Yes, RZ having much more of the ball but we have looked very, very good with it when we can actually keep hold of it. Oh, they're in the box here. Oh, good clearing header. I think that was Agard. Very good clearing header. Gets down low, gets rid of it. What more could you want? Corner for RZ. Carlson looking to take. Goes short for Pepe Lou. Oh, but then they clear it. Why have they cleared it for us? Oh, that's why. Oh, what a save. Arioli, you absolute stud. Great chance for RZ, but the big left hand of Ariola bats it away for another corner. Not good this, and another corner taken short for Pepe Lou. Carlson. Oh, wow. Oh, RZ, goodness me. They are attacking very well here. It's Geordie Classy on the edge of the box. Looks for Pepe Lou. Big save again. Oh my god. Areola has been on fire of late. I think it's the last probably maybe month or two of the season here. He has been absolutely sensational. The amount of, and then the, just all the penalty stops this season as well. Because he won, was it two penalty shootouts he won? I've forgotten now. Oh, well won there by Backer. Very strong challenge. Gets through, plays Cornet down the, down the wing. Cornet, oh, I can't find Skamaka. Now RZ come again, and this is more like a game. This is not, not it's not 4 nil yet, uh, which I think both of the last two games have been 4 nil before half-time. Instead, it's 1-0, and it really has been mostly RZ, which I don't love. 
I do enjoy that we are on top of, <laughs> of it. Here's Paqueta. Oh, the space didn't really open up from there. Might now, as we've got Bowen in a good wide position, cutting back for Paqueta. Bit of space in the box. Oh, Skamaka was just standing. It's Skamaka was defending more than any of them. That was ridiculous. Corner ball though, and it's Jared Bowen to swing this one in towards Skamaka. Doesn't quite win the header. Goes back out to Bowen though, and can he find a cross? He looks for Zuma. Again, not cleanly won, and RZ come out, come out with it. Oh, well won there by Corne. Corne to Paqueta. Goal. Corne, you legend. Corne has absolutely won that goal for us. As RZ were looking at... Where's Declan Rice just come from? That was bizarre. Came out the walls. They were looking to mount a bit of a counter. Corne does very well to win the ball off their right back. One pass and Paqueta is through. Great finish across the keeper. Low and hard. And it is 2-0 to West Ham. We have held off the pressure so very, very well. Thanks to Areola, really. 33 minutes on the clock now. Bowen looking for Skamaka. Got, oh, Backer's got up well there. Oh, but the cross just, just can't find anyone. But Corne now on the edge of the box, outside the foot again. <gasps> Bowen on the rebound, 3-0. I was looking for the same outside of the foot. God, what's Bowen doing? I was looking to the same outside of the foot shot that Corne scored in the last uh, last fixture, but doesn't quite beat the keeper. Unfortunately for him though, the parry not quite far enough away, or maybe it's just, just pure luck that it falls straight to Jared Bowen. Or oh, just sneaks it inside the post with his weak foot. Puts us up 3-0, and we are happy as Larry. Look at this. This is more like it, isn't it? This is more what you've seen the last three videos. Here we go. And now we win the ball back straight away. That was Jared Bowen's first goal in the competition. End me. Backer up high, playing it back to Corne. Corne for Backer. Backer with his weak of foot. I really just want Backer to score. I don't know if, I don't know how annoying it's getting, but I really just want Mitchell Backer to score. Maybe I could play him in on the wing on one, like for one match or something. I don't know. Approaching half time though, it's 3-0. 3-0 look probably flat as us. Um, I say probably, but uh, on the balance of chances, it flatters us. As much as we have been very good on the ball and in control on the ball, uh, they have created some very good chances. Possibly should have scored, um, but haven't. Oh, that's a pass back, surely. About to be half time now. And we've got one hand on the trophy. This is beautiful. Did not expect to win two cup competitions in our first season. Amazing. 3-0 at halftime. Goals from, who was it? Corne, Paqueta, Jared Bowen. Nothing from Skamaka yet. What's he doing, mate? Lazy. Hides in the big games, doesn't he? Loser. All right, let's get through to the second half. And we are underway. Second half, just again, I mean, I've probably said this before, but just a second half to just get through so that we can just get our hands on the trophy, finally. One that we've clearly deserved over the last, you know, three knockout rounds. Four knockout rounds. All of the knockout rounds. Backer from range. What is wrong with his long shooting? I don't understand. That was horrid. I genuinely think, and I'm not going to say that this ever again, I genuinely think I could do better. Here we go, Johnson looking to overlap. Oh, that was poor and that was probably my fault. Kurt Zuma does well though, wins it back. Paqueta finds Skamaka. Skamaka from the outside the box. Oh, good save, keeper. Parries it away, this time they're able to get the rebound and get rid of it. Not far enough though, because it's coming back and it's Bowen again from range. Whoa, that was close, that was very, very close. I decided not to go for finesse for once, and I think that maybe hurt us, because I think that's probably just always curled away from the goal. Unlucky, unlucky Jared. Next time, mate. Ugly bugger. We're definitely just cruising now, I think. Mitchell, man, I'm amazed by Mitchell Backer's, like, willingness to get up and down the pitch. It's just... It's come back up. Oh, no. Oh, Jared Bowen again. Ah, misses this time. I mean, it was... Look, it was, it was tough. I, I'm not going to blame him for that one. Should we bring anyone on? No, we're not taking Mitchell back. Don't be crazy. All right, we've teed up Cole Palmer and 
Isaac Lee Haji to come on now. Why not get themselves a bit of game time and a winner's medal for playing in the final? I mean, who knows? Maybe one of them comes on and scores a hat trick and then they win player of the match. I don't know. Backer finds Skamaka. I really wanted that to be a lot better. I really wanted that to be better. Just lifted it towards the penalty spot. Bit of a scissor kick attempt from Skamaka. Goes wide. That's the end of the night for Paqueta and Jared Bowen. Looking back on the season, I guess, is probably, you know, a, a thing to do on, during the last game. I think the additions of the bench boys has been important. I also think Mitchell Backer has really, like, as much as I say it just to talk poo, I think he really has been quite important. Oh, Cole Palmer in the box. Find Skamaka. Did the keeper not take him out there? Goodness. Uh, I really think he has made a difference just having that dynamic player on the left. And, I mean, it's probably the same with every FIFA that pace helps. But having pace and someone who gets up and down the pitch so very well has made a lot of a difference, I really think. Because uh, Aaron Cresswell, as much as, you know, I'm not going to call him a club legend, but, you know, he's like he's not Mark Noble status, but he's up there for, for Premier League era anyway. Um, but he just, he didn't have it anymore, you know. Skamaka be the big switch towards Lee Haji, who's been, I mean, rather maligned in his in his appearances. Here he finds Cole Palmer though. Oh, is that a nutmeg? Is that a nutmeg by Cole Palmer? Assist for Lee Haji. It is 4-0 in the final. Lee Haji does well, comes in off his right hand side after he's found by Skamaka. Plays a little through ball for Cole Palmer. Who, I mean, it's not a clean finish, but maybe that's what helps him at the end of the day, because the keeper probably is trying to save a good shot, I guess. 4 nil, Amazing. What was I dang saying? Um, I was talking about the the difference that the January signings have made. Like, the, it, on the face of them, Mitchell Backer, who at the time was less overall than Aaron Cresswell... Doesn't seem like a huge deal. Then bringing in Cole Palmer and Lee Haji, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it does open things up a bit. It, like it, oh, there's a good, potentially a good through ball. Oh, not with Agard there. It does open things up a bit. It lets us play some players more often or, or give them more starts because they haven't played the full 90 minutes the, you know, the game before or something like that. A little bit disappointed to have not really had a youth player come through. I think our best at the moment's bad. 63 overall or something like that. It's not been great uh, yet. Hopefully, in the near future, we'll... Uh, I was going to say draft. That's not the word. Sign up. I was, I'm thinking NBA. Um, we'll sign up a youth player, hopefully, soon, that actually has, you know, first-team potential. Oh, another big save for Areola. Just to, just to round out the match. He started the match off with big saves. He's ending the match with one to maintain... The clean sheet. I mean, if uh, if it's anything like last FIFA though, oh, good touch by Mr. Declan Rice, finding Lee Haji. We've seen this combination before. Oh, Lee Haji can't quite, oh, just can't quite get it down around for, uh, for corner to get through. Uh, if it's anything like last FIFA, there'll probably be some free agents that are actually quite, like for young players that are quite good, like Last week we had a guy named Ben Zekri who at 19 was like 81 overall and quick as hell for a winger. It was brilliant. Here's Skamaka. Can he finally score? He can. It's 5-0. He has added the absolute icing on the cake. And like what more fitting way for this season than for our 35 plus goal man, Gianluca Skamaka. To get our last goal. He's played in well there. I think it was Suchek that's played him in. Gets the ball onto his right foot, runs around it a little bit, places it beyond the keeper. Not the most convincing of finishes, but ah, uh, Imanol doesn't care and I don't either. It is 5-0. It is the 87th minute and we've got a conference league title. I was going to say medal, but that wasn't probably trophy maybe. Here is Cole Palmer. We're forward again. Oh, he's offside, isn't he? I, I mean, it was just the wrong option. It was just the wrong player out of the two. But I didn't want to score anyway, because I want Skamaka to be the last one to score, you know? All right. 
It is really winding down now, the last few seconds of our first season at West Ham. We have finished fifth in the Premier League, made the semi-finals of the FA Cup, we've won the League Cup, we've won the Conference League. I mean, it's a great season, isn't it? And Skamaka might score again. (laughs) He has! He's just drifted past people. He's ended it with an absolute bang. Basically the last kick of the season. It's a Skamaka goal and, as I said before, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Does well here, just sort of drifting inside a couple of players then on his good right foot with that shot power he's got. Fires it low and hard at the near post. Keeper has no chance. 6-0. Amazing. Last kick, and it's over. We have won the Conference League. Let's look at that trophy lift. Give me that trophy. So here comes the trophy lift. Looking at Suchek, we're looking at Backer. I mean, surely it's got to be Declan Rice that's giving it. I'm sure he's the captain. Here he comes, the big man. 86 overall, absolute legend. Got us started today with that beautiful assist, and he's finishing the day. Lifting the trophy. Only show you a couple of the goals. First one being Cole Palmer, played in by Lee Haji. On his right foot, low and hard, underneath the keeper, through his legs, I guess. We'll call it a nutmeg anyway. That made it 4 0, and Cole Palmer, he's going to be a star of the future. I just know it. Just know it. Then finishing off the season, the last goal of the season, Gianluca Skamaka. Drifts around a couple of players, possibly should have got tackled, but we'll just ignore that. Comes on the inside, don't want to say that too often, and absolutely fires this one in the bottom corner for 6-0, rounding out the season absolutely brilliantly. What a man. What a season. So confirmation here, very, very quickly. I'll just quickly go through a few things. Quickly, we've won the Conference League. You see it there, it's 6-0. You just watched it. That's absolutely stunning. Carabao Cup, we also won, you saw that. We demolished United, it felt good. It was 5-1. FA Cup, we didn't quite get it done. We made the semi-finals, getting knocked out by Manchester City, who went on to lose the final to Arsenal, so bugger them, it was worth nothing at the end. Then in the Premier League, as you see, we finished a very respectable fifth, ahead of Spurs, Arsenal and Newcastle. I mean, it's end of the day, it's a very good season for West Ham, regardless of how they did in the other competitions, I guess. As for Golden Boot races, it was won by Son Hyun Min. He scored 23 goals, Erling Haaland scored 21, 20 for Mahrez and Salah, and uh, and our main man, Skamaka, was there as well. He played 10 games less, and that's probably because of the rotation that I do, uh, just for fitness. But he scored 20 goals. He was right up there. Didn't quite get it done. FA Cup, our top scorer again was Skamaka. You see him there in 11th. He got three goals, two behind the eventual tied winners of McLean, Osimhen, who knocked us out. <laughs> Some bloke named Patrick. No, Osimhen didn't knock us out. That was the Premier League he scored two against us. Anyway, Erling Haaland did knock us out. He also had five. Carabao Cup, nothing too exciting, but I guess Corne getting three and Skamaka also up there again with three in one match. He's just a stud, isn't he? Then the Conference League, the top scorer, it's Skamaka. We also had number three and four with Paqueta getting eight and Corne getting seven. Also down in 12th is an almost forgotten absolute hero in Mikhail Antonio. Guys, that'll actually wrap it up for today. And for this first season, it's been a wild ride. It's been very up and down. Lots of very, very high ups with an 11 nil win. Very low downs with my controller being literally on the floor. Make sure to leave us a like below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Comment down below what you thought of the video. Any players you think we should sign, all that stuff. Because next video will be the start of the next season. I will have made some transfers, I imagine. We'll see. You'll have to subscribe to, to find out, I guess. That'll do us, though. Until next time, when we go again to hopefully better this season next time around. Peace.